Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. A tornado damages over 300 homes in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, Clarksville, Tennessee. Today we interview U.S. Army Major James Burke, who is part of the relief efforts. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On today's show, we have an interview with a United States Army chaplain. He's an official spokesman today for the Army's response to the crisis in Clarksville, Tennessee, which is right on the border with Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where he is assigned. Welcome to the show, Major James Burke, United States Army chaplain. Uh, welcome to the program, sir. How are you today? Doing well, sir. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm honored to interview somebody who is active duty Army, and thank you for your service, obviously. I'm a former Navy chaplain. You're an active duty Army chaplain. Um, can you describe your, just introduce yourself and, and your endorser and your beliefs? Uh, my name is Chaplain James Burke. I am the 1st Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division uh, chaplain, over uh, 4,500 soldiers in my brigade. So I'm this, uh, the chaplain for chaplains, basically. I have seven battalion chaplains and uh, my job is to advise uh, the battalion commander or brigade commander, excuse me, on the moral and ethical issues in the brigade, but also for the soldiers and the families to practice their faith um, freely across our brigade. That's right, and you are personally- I'm, I'm endorsed by the uh, Southern Baptist Convention. There you go. There you go. So Southern Baptist uh, North American Mission Board has ordained you to be a chaplain but you're also serving the commanding officer of your brigade and you're assigned to the 101st Airborne at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. How long have you been a chaplain? I've been a chaplain for about 14 years, sir. Active duty about uh, 10 years, sir. Okay, well, thank you. He's so polite calling me sir, right? Uh, <laughs> our audience loves chaplains, I hope, because I was a chaplain, but, but especially because we love the military. Uh, describe your sense of patriotism and your, your emotional reaction to the recent tornado tragedy. Uh, so we just got back from a nine month deployment to uh, Eastern Europe uh, with 1st Brigade. And after about two or three days on ground, uh, we got hit by a tornado on the border of uh, Tennessee and Kentucky. And at first, I think there was a lot of shock. Nobody really understood or knew this, the, the depth of damage and uh, trauma that happened uh, in our community. 11 miles long, um, uh, this tornado, it hit uh, as an EF3. Uh, and it was 150 mile an hour winds that pretty much crushed uh, a lot of soldiers and families' homes in the area. I think there was a lot of shock um, and a lot of soldiers really focusing on reintegrating. And so on top of coming back from a deployment, this was definitely an unexpected uh, event uh, that uh, shocked our community. Uh, and so our first response was figure out, assess, you know, how many injuries, get accountability of our soldiers, identify what soldiers were in the path of the tornado, and then establish a relief effort with our uh, local emergency uh, crisis response team. So I can't imagine, you know, having been deployed myself for months at a time away from your family, you come home from nine months away and suddenly bam, in your own home community, right there uh, outside of the, the army post, there are military homes destroyed by this tornado, over 300 homes damaged, and now they're finding bodies. Can you give us the, a sense of the human count? Yes, sir. Um, well, there's thousands of homes that were damaged. Um, <laughs> thousands. Uh, only about 250 to 300 uh, um, from Fort Campbell uh, community. 
Um, you you broke up there. You said service member. You said 250 or 300 what? So oh, thousands of families were impacted. Thousands of families lost their homes. Over 250 to 300 military personnel um, were affected uh, by the, the tornado. Uh, 1,100 families uh, still do not have power uh, in the city. So um, there were 62 uh, from Fort Campbell that were treated for injuries. Uh, three lost their lives in and around the Hendersonville area, and 30 were injured, um, but six overall um, deaths from our area. So there you are, responding to the rubble with your crisis response team, but also the U.S. Army is, is sending volunteers into the community, really, to help people rebuild and just sort through yes. the rubble, where they're finding dead bodies even today. You said six people perished. Uh, it, were any of those military families in, uh, among the death count? No, sir, not to my knowledge. Um, I would have found out we did. Uh, after about two days, they found a baby in a tree um, and the family members from a, a mobile home community uh, had their mobile home crushed and were looking for their um, infant baby who survived. Uh, up in a tree in their in its bassinet still. Uh, so it was very miraculous that uh, the Lord uh, spared this little one's life. And also um, immediate response after accountability was taken, uh, the 101st Airborne Division got buses together. We coordinated uh, with all the local church, Mosaic Church, um, Life Point Community Church, 180 Faith Family, uh, and the chaplains coordinated uh, volunteer efforts and those churches were the hub for all of the volunteer efforts and support to the community uh, through the city and through Samaritan's Purse and Red Cross. Everybody staged at the churches and so it was a really beautiful thing to see uh, God's people come together and support those in need in our community pretty instantaneous. Over in, in, Within two days these churches opened their doors they shut down their services and they started serving those in need. That's incredible. First, let me comment on the baby story. Can you imagine? Now, we're not discounting the tragedy of all those who perished or lost property, right? That's a tragic response. But in the middle of a trailer park, there's one baby in a bassinet who goes missing and they find mm -hmm. him after the tornado in a tree and the mm -hmm. baby's alive in the bassinet up in a tree. The bassinet God's is angels, <laughs> for whatever reason, God's angels were protecting that child. And that's one of the true stories. Um, but you're saying Samaritan's Purse is on the scene. We want people to donate today. Is that a good, uh, uh, what are they doing for the people? How can we give to Samaritan's Purse? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so several organizations are on the ground. Uh, probably the most impactful is an organization that is local to our community helping homeless veterans called uh, YPAX. It's Y-A-I-P-A-K-S, um, Y-A-I-P-I-K-S. And um, just two days ago, uh, the 101st Airborne Division chaplains um, got together with YPAX. They opened their warehouse where all the community had donated and soldiers and the families got to go there and get supplies for their homes. A lot of kids lost gifts. Um, they don't even have a home anymore. And so we we're able to love on those families through uh, the giving of our community to YPACs and also Samaritan's Purse, the Billy Graham Foundation, uh, Operation Heal Our Patriots is on ground uh, and the Red Cross. Okay, spell YPACs again. It's kind of a funny spelling, but you're gonna have to Google it. W-A-I. Excuse me, uh, it's Y-A-I. P A K S Y A I P A K S Y A I P A K S, and that gives yes, directly to the people on the ground. Don't give to us yes, today. Sir. We want you to give to Y A I P A K S, and they're they they have a food pantry or supplies. What are they doing? So uh, when I was stationed here about four years ago as a battalion chaplain, I volunteered with them downtown Clarksville, and they. Uh, work with a homeless church uh, that helps homeless people get off the street and, and and share with them the gospel. And through them, a lot of soldiers that get out of the military 
they might not get on their feet effectively. And so they come alongside these veterans that have maybe make the wrong decision and they help them get off their, get off, get on their feet, get a job, um, get a home and, uh, and start a, a new life. And so uh, it's been a great organization to partner with. And a lot of the local churches uh, send volunteers to YPAX uh, uh, here in Clarksville and also in Nashville. We have over 200 veterans that are um, homeless. So we've been trying to uh, establish efforts to not only share the gospel to them, but also help them make the right decisions and get on their feet. Okay, let's take a short break. More with Chaplain James Burke right after this. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. I've been praying and teaching for years about the baptism in the Holy Spirit, how you can have the power of God right now for your prophetic or power gifts ministry. This new teaching goes through not just Acts chapter two, when the disciples received the power of God from on high and began speaking in other tongues. But we also teach on the gifts of the Holy Spirit and every instance we could find in church history of the gift of tongues. This product is brand new and available to you for a suggested donation of $30. Call us at 866-Obey-God to get yours today. Or you can find it on our website, PrayInJesusName.org. Click on the online bookstore at the top of the page, PrayInJesusName.org, available for a suggested donation of $30. Or you can call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. I'm Dr. Chaps, I have two exciting announcements. For those of you who found us maybe one day a week, did you know we're on five days a week with in-depth analysis and Christian news reporting and we pray the news. Where else are you gonna see that? Here's the exciting news. We're now on Apple TV. We're on five days a week on this exciting new streaming platform, Apple TV. Maybe you've already found us on Roku or Amazon Fire, but Apple TV, look for PIJN News in the spirituality category. And here's my other breaking news. Did you know we're also on podcast? Well, what's a podcast? Well, you can listen to us five days a week on audio, maybe when you're working out at the gym or driving in your car. You can watch the video on your smartphone. Visit iTunes and look for PIJN News. We're also on 10 on-demand platforms. Visit PrayInJesusName.org to find them all. And did I mention it's absolutely free? Other people charge a fee, but ours is free. Subscribe today to PIJN News. Defending your religious freedom, here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. Chaplains are among the first responders. I mean, we all love our police and fire. Uh, chaplain James Burke is a US Army chaplain, active duty, assigned to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, where there was recently a tornado that affected thousands of people, thousands of homes, but also 250, maybe 300 service members who their property was damaged and six people died tragically in this tornado. Uh, Chaplain James Burke, describe your first responder efforts. You got together with the other chaplains and you're, you're leading or joining teams of army soldiers in the response efforts to recover from this tornado. What do you guys do? Well, first step, sir, is to get accountability. So every brigade in the division gets accountability of their soldiers. Once that's been reported up to the command sergeant major, he and the brigade commander establish, you know, what they want to do for a crisis response. And so a lot of times for a situation like this, the chaplains will be used for um, counseling, but also coordinating the efforts uh, with the local churches in order to get soldiers to that location. So we'll partner with the operations team and, uh, once the coordinated efforts of getting transportation to the location uh, and deconflicting with the local law enforcement and fire department and power um, and all the response teams, uh, we identify what locations were hit the, mo the worst and then identify what those needs are. How do we identify that is through the local emergency response teams and the, the, the city uh, government officials, um, but also through the families that were impacted on the ground and but before the hunter first could respond the local churches were already responding uh, and so we came alongside um, Mosaic Church and Life Point Church two larger churches in our community that pretty much shut down their services opened their sanctuary 
and started registering volunteers and then disseminating and distributing them to different locations in order to clean up debris. Um, and then as a chaplain, I communicated to my all my seven battalion chaplains to uh, focus not just on helping uh, clean up debris, but also praying with families and assessing personal needs because this was an extremely traumatic event uh, that shocked many of us. I think a lot of, one of my soldiers was sitting there watching the U.S. Army Navy game. Uh, his wife said, hey, you need to look out the window. I hear sirens going off. He looks out the window and across the street and behind the next row of houses, the tornado coming right at him. And in a matter of seconds, he told his family to get in the bathroom. He got on the ground um, and the roof of his house was ripped completely off, but his family was spared. And so that family's in shock. A lot of, I mean, I could tell you story after story uh, of God's miraculous uh, intervention in many soldiers' lives. Um, but as a chaplain, we walk alongside those families and support them in the next several months. Yeah, and, and and when somebody is support. traumatized by this, I mean, you're an army chaplain, you've been made presum presumptively to combat with, or administered to people who suffer PTSD. Is a tornado traumatic like a combat wound? How do you how do you process that mentally? And what can a chaplain offer to say? Uh, you know, the, the motto of, of US Army chaplains is nurture the living, care for the wounded, and honor the fallen. And so as a, a US Army chaplain, yes, I have been deployed to combat. Yes, I have seen um, a lot of trauma. Um, it, it, it shuts you down at first. You hit the fight or flight. What do I do in this situation? You know, one of my soldiers, um, you know, he walked out of his house and there were bodies on the ground. Uh, and, and soldiers these days don't see stuff like that. Um, and so it really took him, um, took him back and uh, it really shocked him. And so as, as a chaplain, you, you walk alongside them uh, and, and you pray with them you you spend time with them and help them process uh, what they just saw um, but a lot of times words cannot uh, don't help a lot of times it's simply your presence um, and forces I took um, many trips to the gas station filling generators up for families single moms that had no support didn't know churches were out there available helping yeah. and we were just knocking on doors um, and so you'll 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 run across a lot of people that don't know what they need and a lot of times you assess for them what they need in the next few days. That's right, and that ministry of presence is so critical as a chaplain. Uh, you know, I've been deployed, I've been to war, I've, I've seen dead bodies, and, and for the sailors in my case, or the soldiers in your case who experienced that, they need a listening ear. They need a counselor who can draw them out to tell their story because then it, they process it internally Maybe they're not Christian, with, but with their own spirituality, you can offer that compassion and we care for everybody in all branches of the service, regardless of their beliefs. Let's take a short break. More with Chaplain Burke right after this and how, how you can help. This is PIJN News. I'm excited to announce that we're bringing back our best offer ever on our original My Slippers. You save $90 a pair with your promo code. And now My Slippers come in even more sizes smaller sizes, larger sizes, wide sizes, and all new styles and colors. Get them for your friends, your family, your neighbors, everyone you know. What makes My Slippers different is my exclusive four layer design that you're not going to find in any other slippers. My Slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help relieve stress on your feet. I'm so confident that you and everyone you know are going to love My Slippers that I'm extending my 60 day money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024, making them the best Christmas gifts ever. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code to save $90. That's only $49.98 a pair. Quantities won't last long, so please order now. My Towels solved a problem that we've all had with towels. You go into the stores and they feel lotiony and soft, but then you get them home and they wouldn't dry you. That's why I made My Towels. They actually work, they're soft, and they absorb. And now I'm excited to announce two brand new lines of My Towels. What makes them the best towels ever is they're now made with 100% long staple Shapir cotton. 
This is a combed ring spun cotton that makes my towels even softer and more absorbent than ever. And now you get a six piece set for an amazing introductory sale price as low as $29.98. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get my towels for only $29.98. Or you can get my designer premium line for just $20 more. Either way, you save 50% now on all my towels. They actually work. What a concept. This offer won't last long, so please order now. MyPillow.com I'm excited to announce that we're having our biggest Christmas sale ever. You get our brand new six-piece My Towels for only $29.98. Or rejuvenate your bed with a MyPillow mattress topper as low as $99.99. Or how about my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98? There's something for everyone. Duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. Well, I know my pillow products make for the perfect Christmas gifts, so I'm gonna extend my money back guarantee until March 1st, 2024. So go to mypillow.com now or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get huge discounts on all my pillow products. For example, you get our six piece towels for only $29.98, or get your very own my pillow bed sheets for as low as $24.98. It's our biggest Christmas sale ever. Get all your shopping done now while quantities last. He is the intersection of church and state. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back, I'm Dr. Chaps. Joined for one more segment with Chaplain James Burke, United States Army, active duty at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Uh, Chaplain, we're gonna show now the the website. During the break, we looked it up, YIPAC, it, they have their own Facebook page with a donate button right on Facebook. So go to, go to Facebook and type in Y-A-I-P-A-K. Or if you wanna give through their website, it's yaioutreach.org. That is Y-A-I-outreach.org. Will donations go right to the food bank or, or what do you think that, that's going to? Uh, so I know the founder uh, who started in a tiny little shed uh, several years ago, uh, Sherry, and uh, she has done a phenomenal job. And now, um, because of the many donations, she's now in a warehouse. Um, and we're talking chainsaws, um, supplies for your pantry, um, toys for the kids for Christmas. Um, but right now, a lot of it's uh, just basic items for um, for what you would need to, to clean up a, a mess. Um, and a lot of trees, so chainsaws would be helpful uh, or funding for um, and rakes and stuff like that. So, All right, you, you're breaking up a little bit, but uh, debris removal is critical right now. People can't even drive in some of the neighborhoods because the trees are falling, the roads are uh, in disrepair, the houses are destroyed partially, uh, some of them entirely, six people dead, 250 or 300 soldiers affected, thousands of people displaced or suffering, and they need your financial support. Donate a chainsaw or enough money to pay for a chainsaw. Go to YAIPAK on Facebook, Y-A-I-P-A-K. Chaplain, I wanna ask you about your spirituality. Um, This is a Christian program. Can you tell us about Jesus and what he suffered through? Yes, sir. So I came to Christ at a young age, um, but walked away from the Lord um, probably in high school. And then uh, when I went off to the Citadel, um, I had a life and death experience. Uh, I drowned in a pool and I, um, a buddy of mine pulled me out after three and a half, four minutes being down there. He did CPR on me seven times uh, before I came to. And I saw my body at the bottom of the pool and I hear this voice say, Jay, stop running from me. And it was at that point I was at a crossroads in my life, whether or not to be an infantryman or pursue the ministry or just a normal job. And uh, God changed my trajectory and I um, bumped into a chaplain the next day. And, uh, and miraculously, I had no brain damage. Uh, and it began the walk of just discipling me and what it means to have a personal relationship with Jesus daily. And so we started reading through the book of John together uh, and just the life of Christ and, and what he did for me on the cross, um, dying for my sins uh, and giving them for him and for others uh, transformed my perspective on my 
purpose in life and, and gave me a more significant purpose. And uh, I became an army chaplain in 2009. I went to Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary and went active duty after being a pastor in Lake Forest, North Carolina. And uh, been married to my wife for 14 years and we got three kids and um, just daily getting into the word as a, a spiritual leader, not just for myself, I've found that it's most important for my family. And That's so a great I was testimony. Um, I, I love the testimony how you fell away from Christ. There was a miracle when you drowned at the bottom of the pool. Jesus met you and called you to the ministry. And then a chaplain helped you grow in your spirituality. And, and, and eventually you went to seminary, got ordained. Now you're paying it forward for others. Uh, we have just two minutes left. What is the gospel of Jesus Christ? And would you offer to pray with somebody? Sure. Uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ is, um, I think of um, Romans six twenty three for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. And so Christ died so that we might have eternal life. He died for your sins. He died for my sins so that we might have eternal life. Um, and each and every day, if we just confess with our mouth and believe in our heart, we will be saved. Um, and now we live out of an overflow and an understanding of what Christ has done. Now with the Holy Spirit in us, he gives us the, the capacity to live not for self, but for others and for him. And so, uh, yes, I would pray in Jesus' name all the time. And I would be happy to pray for you and anybody else. All right, please pray for us. All right, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this ministry, Father. Um, just to come alongside one another, uh, to support one another in need, Lord. Thank you for the local church in our community and across our nation that are supporting the many families, uh, Father, during this holiday season uh, that are in need, specifically uh, in times of uh, destruction and times of trauma. Uh, Father, not just here in Clarksville, but also, Father, in Israel right now, Father, in, in Gaza. Lord, we lift up, Father, the man to miraculously come alongside them, Father, and guide and direct their steps so that they might um, not just survive, but thrive, Father, uh, through what you've done. And, and may your name uh, be glorified, Father, through us each and every day, Father, that during this Christmas season. We pray this in your holy and precious name, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen and amen. Our guest has been Chaplain James Burke. Please give to yaioutreach.org to help with the relief efforts. Uh, if you need prayer, call us today at 866-Obey-God. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.